Hey everybody, my new book today is called Beautiful Birds and Treetop Treasures by Millie Marata. Um, I was lucky enough that the publisher sent me this copy. Um, um, I think it just went on sale the beginning of this month. Um, let me see, it's on Amazon for sure. I will post a link to that down at the bottom. Um, it's 96 pages. It's, uh, this is the back, it's double-sided, non-perforated, and it's exactly in her normal style. Here's the spine, um, nice, good, heavy weight, um, it's got the foiling that we all know she, she does, it's beautiful. Alright, let's start flipping here. You know, she always does an introduction. This tells you why she picked, you know, let me pan out, why she picked the birds and, and her reasoning behind the story. And here we go. It's, it's just totally her style. And I just, I think it's gorgeous. Some of the birds I don't recognize, but at the back of the book, the back of the book, <clears throat> She's got a listing of all of the birds. I mean, yeah, all the birds here and describes them all. Okay, the main issue that I have with um, the context in the back where she describes the birds is the pages aren't numbered. So you got to kind of have to flip back and forth to try to figure out what is what. I mean, most of them you can tell. The only thing about the contents in the back is page is that the pages aren't numbered so you have to kind of try to figure out which um, bird is you know what but um, it's exactly in her style of all of her other books really beautiful birds in almost every single picture love the flower details the same paper that you know she has in all her other books exact same bright white um, trying to break the spine a little bit all the pages though of course they still go into the spine I don't like that but it is what it is this koala bear I'm definitely gonna color this one this is really beautiful and we got some bird in some trees see like for a page like this that's a double-sided I really really hate when it goes into the spine like that um, beautiful hummingbird. The only problem that I have with double-sided pages like this, um, sometimes, like, if I wanted to color this with my markers, you know, I would have to decide if I was, you know, didn't want this page. Because you're going to destroy one of them. But, like, see this one? It's, this one's too detailed. I've heard some people call this type of page, um, wallpaper because it looks kind of like wallpaper just the repetitive designs so I would probably not color this and I would color this side now these pages here are interesting because it looks like a mirrored image but this one is more detailed and this one is less detailed which is really cool because you can um, kind of do your own design or your own blending or however you want to do it on, on these pages I really like it you know for maybe more intricate uh, more advanced and then maybe for learners wanting to learn how to shade it would be great oh, this is so cute these are all just really beautiful this is beautiful it's gonna be pretty I can just see it colored a little parakeet Oh, this is gorgeous. I love this and the flowers. And see, like, see, things like this, I don't think I would sit there and tediously color all of these lines. I would most likely do a, a wash or paint the background. Yeah, do like a wash and then maybe go in and do the flowers. It, it, it's, it would be fine. I've done that on other pages before. Yeah, like the nest, color over it or do like a wash. A snake. Who 
here's that reverse image again. More detail and then a little less detail. Really, really pretty. They're just gorgeous. If you love birds, this is Bird Lover's Paradise book here. Um, this is the one I started, of course, because it's got mushrooms on it. Um, I just wanted to try a few different mediums to see how I, you know it worked. Um, for this one, I used Polychromos for the stalk, and for the mushroom, I used Marco Refines. And for this, I tried these cheapo Walmart Sivo uh, Vivid. These are really, really nice pencils for the price. It was like five, six bucks. And they're very vibrant. They're creamy. Um, if you look on my Instagram, Orion's Girl 93, I have a Alice in Wonderland picture. Almost all of those pencils, and it's just gorgeous. So, and this one I kind of mixed up and used um, Polychromos and the Marcos on for the shading of this one. I did use my fine liners right here, my Stadler fine liners. And, I mean, it's only dots, but it didn't go through. I think this page right here, the three birds and the flowers and the circle, is just beautiful. Ladybug, another wallpaper type. This one um, is so pretty. nice see this is too fussy I, w I, I, I don't like too fussy like this I wouldn't do that these pages but pages like this I would definitely do the flowers and this page we got a cool bear here It's like a toucan. No idea what that is, but it is cute. There are people that'll go through here and know exactly what every bird is. I'm sure. I love this. I'm definitely gonna color this one. The tree. This is a really, really gorgeous picture. I love all of her different flowers. Look at the butterflies. Here's another one. I love trees and the birds. Look at cardinals. Blue jays. Mandala. Oh, this one's got frogs. Oh, they're both frogs. It's the mirrored image. This is the more, de the more detailed, and this is the less detail. I didn't notice that before. She's got her moth. Almost like a. What is that? A gecko? I mean, it's lots of detail. You know her, her books. If you like her books, you are you know what to expect. You know it's going to have all these details. And this is really cool. This looks like one of those, um, what's it called? A red fox? Something like that? I'm not sure the name of it. <clears throat> There's my owl. You know I'm going to do the owl. The bat. Oh, I like that. Oh, cute little owl. And all the animals 
are made up of flowers and leaves. Really nice. Oh, wow. These are really pretty mandalas. Oh, I love this one. I'm going to do this one too. This one's not my favorite. I like this one too. Her flowers, she, they're so creative. She's so unique the way she does all of her designs. I, I really enjoy her flowers. She incorporates it all really well. Get some snails here. And that's it. Here we go. It's got all of the, um, the names for you. And you can draw your own here, it says, or test out your pages. Um, altogether, there are 96 pages, I said, I believe I said. And um, thanks for watching, everybody. And if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. And I would love it if you would subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.